Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Pixelmon Ranger! We are out here with Daisy Leaf letting her stretch her legs in the morning in this beautiful garden that we've got going. Uh, though it looks like, actually... <laughs> dang it! So it looks like the sheep and, and pidgeys and other things have been getting in my garden. You can see where they have been pecking away at things. And that's not going to be very good because I actually have to eat in this garden. Oh, check it out! Aww! There's some little stuff in here! Nice! Alright, Chikorita, one second. It looks like the Pidgeys have been uh, attacking our little garden and making a mess of it, which isn't good because actually this is the garden I rely on for food. There is not a Pokemart anywhere close to here. That's actually one of our jobs, Chikorita, is to scout the area for possible routes that we could, um, that we could build. That's actually one of the Pixelmon Ranger's jobs, is you do- Chikorita, don't run off with my potatoes. You don't have to eat, since you can just photosynthesize or snack on polka treats when you want to. But some of us have to survive off of what we harvest in this garden, ma'am. Especially because my lead ranger, the guy who's supposed to be training me on how to be a Pixelmon ranger, Ranger Cooper, I still haven't seen hide or hair of them. But I think that the morning delivery of Pokemel has come, so we will check and see if lead ranger Copper has left us any notes about what we're supposed to be doing here, Chikorita. What we're supposed to be doing here, huh? Oh, she's such a cutie pie. And I really hope he writes back and, and lets us know what to do about the, the scary dark stuff. I don't know if it's spreading next to, next to like, I don't think it's spreading next to our little ranger station, Chikorita, but I am worried. All right, but let's come inside. You wanna come inside, Chikorita? No? Okay. Don't fight with any Pidgey while you're out there. And we are gonna check our Pokemail box and see if there are any fresh Pokemails for us. And there are! Wonderful! Alright. And this is Steel Pokemail, which happened. Ooh! An Iron Ore and Gravel? Alright! Steel Pokemail, I know, is Copper's favorite, favorite stationery to ride on, so let's see what we've got here. Ranger Siri, sorry for the late message. Moss got a hold of me and let me know that you've been having trouble in the station lately. Zombies? Really? Hmm. I'd rush back, but this mine has been yielding so many amazing ores. I have to find out what else is hiding in here. I won't leave you unprotected, though. I am... Aw, oh, dang it, Copper. I am sending something very useful. Metals. Well, iron ores to be exact. Smelt them up into some protective gear and hang tight. I will be back as soon as the mining is done. Also, would you believe how fussy the Pidgey Mel service is about melling ore? Too heavy, my foot. From Ranger Copper to me. Ah, uh, well, okay. So it looks like Copper isn't coming back anytime soon. Chikorita, but he did send us. It looks like some gravel fell to the bottom of the bag here, but we got some iron ore, Chikorita. Do you want to come inside? Come on. Come on, you can come on inside. There you go, darling. I'm going to smelt this up so that we can get a little bit more protective gear. Oh, man. Do we have any cobblestone? Oh, yay! Because I just, I don't want to, like, smelt in our kitchen smelter. That's just, that's just not right. All right, hang on, Chikorita. I've just got to put together a little furnace. But there, so uh, unfortunately, my lead ranger, who's supposed to be training me in the ways of being a Pokemon ranger and helping me figure out what the heck this scary, I mean, look at it. It's got this weird little ob obscalus, obscalus? How do you say that? It's got a weird totem with a creeper head on it. So I'm a little concerned. As you guys know, this is not a peaceful world. This is actually a world filled with a lot of danger, a lot of monsters. There we go. Um. Is there any coal? Dang, he didn't even leave me with a fuel source or anything. Hmm. Well, and there's that maple wood. I wonder if that maple wood, like, we can get some sort of extract from it? Hmm. Let's go ahead and just use this little fireplace right there. Chikorita, it's okay. Come on, Daisy Leaf. If you want to come into the kitchen while I'm doing this, that's fine. But you have to behave yourself. All right, don't go near the fire, okay? Hmm. And you know, actually, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Chikorita, Chikorita. Chikorita, where's your entry? Oh, there you are. Chikorita. Oh, you only weigh like 6.4 kilograms? It uses the leaf on its head to determine the temperature and humidity. It loves to sunbathe. Whoops. All right, all right. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right, so we actually need to work a little bit more with our partner. As a Pixelmon Ranger, our job, <laughs> Chikorita, Daisy Leaf, you are such a goofball, is to really get to know the Pokemon, their, their ecology, their biology, why they do what they do, learn more about how Daisy Leaf analyzes the temperature and humidity in the area. 
with her leaf. So I think what we'll do once we smelt up, um, I wonder if we should do like protective gear. I wonder what on earth, what on earth I should do to protect myself. I love my bow and arrow to be honest. So I think, now don't laugh at me Daisy Leaf. I think as silly as it looks, Daisy Leaf! I told you, no, get back in the Pokeball. Oh, I can't believe that she like walked right over to the fire there. Honestly. That is not going to be a humid area, Daisy Leaf. All right, so I think we're going to put on an iron chest plate to protect ourselves. And then let's go out. Let's go out. Since Daisy Leaf is clearly so antsy and definitely wants to get out, I think we need to let her stretch her legs a little bit more. All right. All right, Daisy Leaf, come on. We'll do a little bit of exploring around the back garden here. And let us see what kind of, what kind of amazing... <gasps> Beautiful plants and Pokemon. Are we going down to the creek? All right, I guess we're going down to the creek. Hang on, Daisy Leaf, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, look at all the squid, wow, look at all the algae. Oh, that's so cool. Daisy Leaf, look, there's Magikarp. What do you think of that, huh? Oh, wow, <gasps> what was that? Was that a Magikarp? Oh, it was a bird! It's a Spearow! Wow, look at all those Magikarp! Daisy Leaf, let's go check it out. Let's let's test your metal against some Magikarp. How about that? Ah, oh, getting all wet. Wow, that's a high-level Magikarp. That's a high-level Spearow. Look at these aquatic plants. I should collect some specimens. Oops, I think I destroyed it. Ooh, looks like I need to make some shears. So we'll have to make some shears when we go back, Daisy Leaf. But I think this is a good area. Look at this, it's like a cool little- Whoa! Okay, I didn't mean to do that. But it's like a cool little spot to come and just sort of enjoy the embankment. I like it. All right, Daisy Leaf, let's wade into the water a little bit. And let's test out your metal against some of these Magikarp and see what happens. All right. All right, we're in a battle with the Magikarp, Daisy Leaf. Let's see what we can do, okay? Try Razor Leaf. There you go, super effective. Good job. There we go! All right! All right! And we got some raw fish. As sad as that seems, this is a tough, brutal world. Good, uh, good job, Daisy Leaf. This is a bit of a tough, brutal, like, eh, world. And I'm kind of hungry, so I need to get some fish. All right, let's try again. Razor Leaf! Good job. Good job, Daisy Leaf. Plus, we want to we wanna figure more out more about what Daisy Leaf can do. Good job! Okay, so she leveled up to level 13. She seems to be able to take on these Magikarp, no problem. What about that one? Oh, we got it! We got it! All right, Daisy Leaf. Good job. Good job. Uh-oh, sun setting. We better head back. As much as I want to stay out here and test Daisy Leaf's metal some more. Oh my goodness, and look at all these plants! We're going to have to come back with some like plant collecting shears so that we can look at these specimens some more. Also, I'm going to plant these here because I would love to harvest. That's another thing that you learn as a Pixelmon Ranger, is how to take advantage of the local resources. And I would love to harvest those canes up to get some delicious sugar to make some delicious cake. I wonder if I could make some cake to share with Chikorita. I bet she would love that. But let's hurry and get home because it is, like I have heard reports of six, six foot zombies that roam our world. So we're not taking any chances. Hopefully the new lanterns I added in some new lamps, so hopefully this will keep zombies from showing up in our world. Oh, it's so scary when they show up. I'm just always- I want some curtains now. I'm like so scared that there's gonna be zombies just peeking in my windows at night, so we might invest in some curtains. Alright, week in the dormitory. Alright, Chikorita. Oh, actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and heal her up. She hasn't really taken any damage, but we want to just make sure that our little daisy leaf is at tip-top shape. And then, I'm kind of hungry, so let's eat some raspberries. Om nom 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 nom, hey, stop it. There we go. Om nom 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 nom. <laughs> Looks like, like this is, this is kind of the life of the ranger though. Eating wild raspberries while you're on the run. Zipping around. Let's investigate this creek a little more. I'm really enjoying checking out what's down here actually. In fact, this is, a, again, this is another one of the things, oh wow. That's a really tough looking Magikarp. Daisy Leaf, do you think we can take that one out? It's really tough looking though. All right, you ready? Razor Leaf. Oh, look at her go. Go Daisy Leaf, go. Ooh, it used Tackle, but you're okay. 
It didn't really flash like splash out of the water that effectively. Good job, Daisy Leaf! Yay, Daisy Leaf! I'm so proud of you! All right. So Daisy Leaf is definitely learning how to use her skills pretty effectively. And you know what? I think we could probably come down here and make a little bridge. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a Pidgey! Beautiful. Beautiful. I love seeing how rich this forest is. But yes, that's, like I was saying, that's one of the duties of a Pixelmon Ranger, is figuring out where we can add additional routes to the world. Put our, our footprint down. This is a very wild, untamed land. Look at all these pitcher plants. I bet there must be a lot of insects around here. I wonder if we'll see any insect Pokemon. Where there's a lot of pitcher plants, that means there's a lot of insects, right, Mr. Sheep? And where there's a lot of insects, we might see a lot of uh, insect Pokemon. One day we'll have to fly up there when we get a flying Pokemon and check out what's going on on those islands. Oh, wow, and look at that tree. Oh, that's an amazing tree. We'll have to work our way over there one day. Today I'm still wanting to check out this creek. All right. All right, Daisy Leaf, let's swim around the edges. Here, you want to come with me, darling? Hey, hey, Daisy Leaf, come on. Come with me. We're going to poke around the edges, see if there's any more magic carp. What's that? Oh, wow. See, I told you there would be insects. Look at the size of them. It looks like those guys are next to a cave, too. Fascinating. So there's spider, spider Pokemon. Oh, I can't remember what they're called. Daisy Leaf. Oh, there you are. <laughs> For a second, I was like, Daisy Leaf, you turned into a sheep. Whoa. We're going to have to investigate that for us. That looks amazing. But all right, let's finish checking out this creek. Let's walk along the edge and figure out what's over here. <gasps> Look! Oh, it's a swaddle! It's a swaddle! There are insect Pokemon around here! I love those little guys! <gasps> oh, I'm going to have to see if I can learn how to make some Pokeballs. I'll have to ask uh, my, my lead ranger, Copper, if I can learn how to make some Pokeballs. Because, you know, we, we aren't focused on team building and fighting the way that trainers are, but it is important. Wow, look at that Pidgeot. Oh, it's so beautiful. But it is important to keep our team healthy and to keep our skills sharp by having more than just one Pokemon to rely on. I don't want to exhaust Daisy Leaf if we get in a sticky situation, after all. Alright, no more Magikarp in here. Alright, Daisy Leaf, it looks like the Magikarp don't really go down this way. Let's see if there's any more over here. Oh, I see one. Oh, and a Sea King too. Chikorita, come here. Here's a, here's another Magic Carp, Chikorita. Magic Carp. Oh, it's just a little one though. Hmm. I don't really want to fuss with the little guys. I wonder if we take out too many of them if we'd upset the ecosystem over here. What about that guy over there? Goldeen. Goldeen. Oh, look at the Goldeen. That's a really high level Goldeen though. There we go. Here's a nice high-level Magikarp. Carp. He's a big old tough guy. Headed for the dinner table at this rate. That's just the, the aggressive way this world Magikarp. is. All right, Razor Leaf, Razor Leaf, Daisy Leaf. There we go. Super effective. Level 14. Good job, darling. I think we have to get you up to level 16 before you can evolve. But I'll have to speak with uh, Professor Moss a little bit more about that. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if she can take on a Goldeen. I don't see anybody in here. Where'd those, where'd those other Pokemon go? Alright, so Magikarp Creek. They do, there's quite a few Magikarp in there. They seem, oh, 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 what's over here? Giga Impact! Sweet! Wonderful! Alright, so we're still finding more stuff. Oh, look, there's a Pokeball over there. Ugh. Falling in the water, how embarrassing. What's this? Ooh, protein! Okay, I'm sure that that would be helpful. Oh! Wow, look at the size of that Spiro. We better be careful. They can really pick on Daisy Leaf. <gasps> a Moss Rock! Wonderful! Look at this beautiful spot with a Moss Rock! Oh, I love it! I love it! Oh, it's so pretty here! Wow! <gasps> oh, and I think I see somebody! I think I see a Pokemon over there! Headed towards kind of this little this little creek. There's another creek. Ooh, what's that? It's like mossy, mossy rock and special trees and wow, what have we found over here, Daisy Leaf? We're gonna have to investigate this area too. And there's more Magikarp. Okay, let's see how this is going. Ooh, they're high level too, so there's old Magikarp that live over in this creek. All right, Razor Leaf, Daisy Leaf. Good job, keep going. 
Super effective. All right, yay! Good job, Daisy Leaf. I wonder if we can take on one of those Goldeen. This might be more than we can chew. Seeking, I mean. That's a giant Seeking. I can't see what level it is, though. Daisy Leaf, you think we can do it? Oop. Come here, darling. What about that one? Hmm? She doesn't seem interested. That's fine. All right, let's swim over here. Stand up here. Oh, that's a pretty high-level old Magikarp. All right, let's turn him into <laughs> to some fish food. As awful as it sounds, this is a vicious world. All right, good, good, good. Level fifteen, good. All right, and then I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of wanting to test her abilities. Hold still, seeking. Man, that's a fast seeking. Nope, they're not. It's not gonna happen. Whoa, what's that? What was that? Well, there's a Pidgey. I could have sworn- That! What the heck is going on over here? Daisy Leaf! Hang on, I think there's- I think there's something shimmering and shining over here. What's going on? What is this forest? Huh. Day four. Daisy Leaf and I are still fending for ourselves in the ranger station, but there is plenty to see in the new forest around our home. Beyond the station is a creek filled with several Magikarp. It seems that the shallower parts of the creek hold the lower level and younger Magikarp, while the deeper parts of the stream, where it becomes a river, are where you can find the older Magikarp. There were also several insect Pokemon, including several Spinarak, outside of a small cave along the creek bed. We wandered past a deeper part of the creek and found a forest that holds shining lights. What is hidden here? 